Testing, testing, one, two, three. Welcome everybody to another episode of Drawing Duty Live. And today I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to do a quick one with uh, Duty as Popeye the Sailor Man. And if you don't know who Popeye the Sailor Man is, you need to Google it. But there is a small paragraph in my summary, which gives you a clue into who Popeye is in the event that you don't know who he is. And don't forget September 20th. The Nail in My Toilet, issue number three, launches on Kickstarter. I hope to see you there. Without further ado, let's start the show. Hi, I'm Vera. Wait, hold on. I'm Vera. Well, we're both Veras. Anyway, welcome to Drawing Duty, where I take my favorite character, Uderius Uranius, from There's an Alien in My Toilet, and I put him in all sorts of costumes, from your most iconic characters to just... A pirate, or even uh, Thundercats, or a bandit. Well, every day, I take duty and I have fun. And I'm glad that you're here to have fun with me. If you have time, please check out dutiesworld.com. And if you like this episode and every episode before it, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much, and let's start drawing. All right, so let's get the music on before I change screens. Let's get that music. And... Um... And again, there's the Alien Matola issue number three launches on Kickstarter September 20th. This one's going to be amazing. It's a double feature. There is a horror special called Duty's Monsters uh, versus King Cthulhu. And there is also issue number three, I Chihuahua, where you get to uh, we introduce a bunch of new characters, including Herman the Chihuahua. Um, and the proofs have already been shipped to me, so I should have them either by today or Monday. So, um, um, once I approve them and everything's good, then we're good to go. And uh, I should have the books in my hands in a couple weeks. Um, so, what else? Uh, don't forget that if you're going to be in Texas, I'll be at the Arlington Comic Fest on the 20th and the 21st. And then at the Denton Comic Art Exposition on the 27th. Um, and then at the Dallas Fan Festival in October and Kyle Town Comic Con in October. If you haven't visited DutiesWorld.com, visit DutiesWorld.com for all your duty adventures. I have coloring books, the comic book, activity books, um, trading cards, uh, sketch cards. I mean, a whole lot of stuff on there, plus t-shirts. You can get It's Duty Time, there's Little Duty in All of Us, and there's Nailing in My Toilet, the iconic one. Plus, there's also a Super Duty t-shirt that you don't see there, and a few others that will be introduced on the Kickstarter. Um... And the landing page for the Kickstarter launches on, well, once I get approved, I submitted it for approval, so I'm waiting for it to get approved. So once it gets approved, the landing page will go live. If you sign up to the landing page and DM me, send me your email, I will send you this digital print of Duty's Monsters on Planet Cthulhu. And this is an amazing print, so you'll get a digital print for signing up. Now, if you back it, um, when we launch... You'll get and you, physically, you'll get a physical copy of this print, which is seven by ten and a quarter. Fits right into your comic book sleeves, I believe. I hope so. Um, maybe. Uh, <laughs> if not, it fits into the package. But uh, yeah, so this is gonna be pretty cool. Um, and that is a, a print that's supporting the campaign for the monster series. Duty's Monsters versus King Cthulhu. And it's going to be crazy. So I'm looking forward to this one. Um, I'm actually drawing page 10 today. Um, not on the show, but uh, offline. So this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and so this is what I did yesterday. If you were with me yesterday, I did uh, Duty as Death Dealer. And uh, so today is going to be Duty as Popeye. So without further ado, I'm going to the draft table. I'm always clogged up in this. I don't know if it's my vents. But I always feel like stuffy. Uh, let me get my coffee. Sorry if you heard me gulp. All right. So we'll do a classic Popeye pose, the standard pose that you see in all of Popeye's advertisements, but you know, for duty. So his head is slightly tilted, right? So I'm just gonna put the, the, the shape here real quick. Um, and the neck goes a little slight, right? And then Popeye's like, has this um, right right here and then he goes down because he has that pose and then he has little legs like duties which is cool so it makes um, um it curves a little and foot goes there and then he has a little 
what my grandma would say pipa. He has a little pouty thing on his belly, whatever that is. But so there's like the standard positioning. Um, uh, when you look at Popeye the cartoon. Uh, so um, I'm gonna give duty to Popeye forearms. Yeah, um, which is gonna be pretty big. So it's gonna. I'm using shapes. So uh, if for kids out there um, that are watching or parents. Uh, shapes are the easiest way um, to flesh out a figure. Uh, and for me, it's always shapes. Uh, so, like, if I want this, like, this would be the box. And if I want to see where I'm going to put the, the circle for the shoulder here, it's going to be right here. Right? So, but um, let's see. I might have this arm a little too far forward, but we'll, we'll see in a second. I'm going to put this right here. Right? Um... And then it just becomes this big old messy meatloaf looking forearm. There's actually an actual Popeye guy in real life. He has the Popeye forearms. Um, but I think he has some sort of, it's like a, it's a, I don't want, I don't know what, I'm trying to be politically correct. It's some sort of specific condition. There it is. That causes the um, oversized arms um you know so uh i know he works out but the workout doesn't support the size of the arms because like the it's so big it's it's hands are humongous um okay so but remember duty has a belly so the difference between duty and popeye is well a lot of differences duty doesn't you know duty has a belly so i'm going to keep his traditional belly so he's resting Right, so if this was like this, this would be the belly right here, right? So if you see it underneath the pencils, that would, the belly would be right there, right? And then, um, you know, put the, I don't know, put, put this shirt here. Do this little belly. Um, and, and then nothing crazy when it comes to, he, it's almost like he has bell bottom sailor pants, right? Because it gets wider towards the end. If you look at the Popeye uh, images, the pant tends to get wider towards the end. And also, the difference here is that Duty's going to be having um, um, barefoot. He's going to be barefoot. So he's not going to be wearing Popeye sailor shoes. He's going to be a little barefoot. Um, but if the belt's here, and he has that shirt here, right? A shout out to everybody at Terrificon, uh, George Medina, Anibal Arroyo, Johnny Syfax, um, Philip Russert, uh, Johnny C, Keith Gleason, um, Christian Alawas, um, I think uh, Stories Comics. I mean, there's so many people at uh, Terrificon. I hope that you guys have a stellar event and uh, make a whole lot of money, sell a lot of books and get a lot of new fans. Wish you guys all a lot of success. Wish I was there with you. Um, but, you know, I'm there with spirit, right? So, and then here's that little knee thing, right? He has it here too, I guess, to show the knee. It's one of those things that you would see in the cartoons. Um, he has a little ring here, right? So, duty's going to, and again, I'm gonna use a shape here. So, right now, if you wanna, like, what I do is I put like a square box or a rectangle here to show the placement of the foot and the toes. Again, it's a ring here. Um, shapes always help me. Whenever I get stuck with angles or whatever, I'll just I'll just add the shape. Um, and so if it's so yeah, this is the big toe right here. Hey, <laughs> what's up, buddy? Yes, I'm strong to the finish because I eat me spinach. So, <clears throat> when I was a kid, Popeye used to be on Channel 5. And I don't know if it, um, what the, the, the station was at that time when I was a kid. Because um, stations changed hands many times. I don't know if it was Fox or whatever. But Popeye the cartoon was on Channel 5. So, if you got up at 5 in the morning, there was the news review 
from 5 to 5.30. Then from 5.30 to 6 was the Great Space Coaster. Then from 6 to 6.30 was Popeye the Sailor Man. Um, when I was a kid, I used to get up early just to watch those. I was so addicted um, to the cartoon back then. Give him a little lump on his throat. Right. Okay, so there's a, the, the traditional pose. But now, remember, Duty it has an alien head, so. Um, Duty's an alien. He's not, uh, so we're going to uh, elongate that, that skull of his. Right? And. Even, he has a big eye here, right? But that eye is going to um, squint like Popeyes. Right? And and then Popeye, ha then he has this big eye here. Actually, I'm going to, sh I'm going to shrink this. Oh, wait, hold on. We'll see. I'm going to play with, right now I'm playing. I'm playing with design. So this is going to be... Uh, right. And give him that uh, Popeye esque. Um, pipe. Popeye was a smoker. And he's smoking that pipe. Um, and the pair gave him the sailor hat. I'm Popeye the sailor man. I live in a garbage can. I'm strong to the finish because I eat some spinach. <laughs> Who? Where did I live in a garbage can camp come from? I don't know if there was a, a local thing, kids thing. So now we get that V-neck, right? The V-neck goes like this. Get that V-neck in there. And you're gonna get those. It's red and um, this is. Uh, let me get the fingers in here. Hold on. This finger. Uh, Duty only has two fingers. Um, right there it is. Boom. All right. So, but he still has those um, stripes. So I'll put that stripe there. And that's going to be a stripe here. All right. And the rest of it is just, just the clothing. Pretty simple, right? And uh, let's see. You got these. Uh, so you got this armed in. This goes, this goes here. And this here. And. And then he has that that tattoo, right, of that uh, anchor, which is a simple little tattoo. It's nothing crazy. Boom. So there, there is the um, the sketch of Dear Deep as Popeye. So now let's ink this bad boy. I think I'm gonna use twelve. Oh, I gotta get that to 12. It's 12 too big. Let's go in. It's 12 too Oops, let me do that. 12 might be too big, but we'll see in a second. Gotta zoom in. All right. I'm strong to the finish. 
And I gotta move this to like a eight right here so you can get a straight line for the pipe. And a straight line for that pipe. All right, and go like this. Straight line. Straight line. Straight line. There it is. We'll add some smoke out of there later. And then go back to 12. What's cool about putting duty in all these different uh, scenarios is um, that it challenges me to really think of how would he look if he was in those scenarios, right? Um, you know, and uh, that's the fun part. So I have I have the most fun with duty. Because I've always, his whole purpose was always to be like the ultimate pretender. So if, when you start reading the books and you start seeing, I don't like that, um, and you start seeing every episode in the series, he takes on a different persona. And this was, so I decided to just take that and start drawing him live in a lot of different characters um personas because so that way people can um start understanding why why he is who he is why he does what he does um and i chihuahua issue three it's really really funny um i was laughing when i was drawing it um and uh you'll see that number one, we introduce a whole lot of new characters in issue number three. So it's starting to pop off. So the first two issues, you know, he was in the woods, you know, playing around, trying to figure out how to get out. Um, but now, um, oh, he has rolled up sleeves too. So let's get those rolled up sleeves. Um, Let's get actually hold on. Hold on, little birdie. I'll make it fruit loops my brand. I like that either. I just realized something. Positioning. Yeah, so in um, issue three, I Chihuahua, things pop off with Duty and Herman, um, with uh, this this uh, extraterrestrial task force that are uh, in search, in pursuit of this down spacecraft. They're trying to find where it is. Um, Um, 
Uh, so there's a lot that happens here. And then there's the monster series, right? Uh, do these monsters on planet Cthulhu. Um, this one's going to be, it's a one shot. It's only available when you unlock it as an add on. So once it's unlocked and you can add it into your basket, it's um, full color, short, um, full color, full story. It's either going to be 24 or 28 pages. I'm not sure because I'm still drawing it. I'm up to page 10 right now. Um, it takes me about two days per page from pencil, inks, coloring, and lettering. Uh, so uh, this one's going to be fire. In fact, I have um, a page that I'm doing right now that's very technical. And uh, that's probably going to take me more than two days, but we'll see the story I'm Papa to save a man I'm Papa to save a man I'm strong to the finish but I have to speak some uh, I'm gonna add some uh, flare okay so what am I missing from you Popeye let's see let's get this here anything that I'm missing I got that I got that I got that nope we can start adding the colors get rid of the pencils real quick so I can see um, let's add a folder, bring that folder down, make my ink layer a reference layer, add a layer, drop the colors, and let me get my color swatch. Actually, no. oh, there it is, that thick layer, boom. And here it goes, boom, 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 boom. Right. I got all the skin, and everything but that little section in the corner right there. I'll make that look for now. Just leave it like that. Let's get the yellow. And then the green. Okay, now Popeye. I'm gonna make his clothing a separate layer. So his shirt's black. Um, at least, yeah, the shirt's black here, so I'm gonna go black. Uh, it's black and blue. Right, and... Hold on. Nope, that's not. Up there's red. So that's red, this is black. And this is black. That's red, and this is black. And then I gotta change this here. There it is. Now we go. Okay. Right, right. So that should be black. Yeah. This is black. 
and that's red, and then the rest is black. There we go. I was right in the first time. And then this is blue, which is like a uh, that's the blue. And that's blue. There's only two things that are blue. Let's get the red in there. That's the only thing that's red. Then you got yellow, bright yellow belt. The button up here, the pipe is yellow. Oops, look at that. That's what I want to do. All right, I'm gonna zoom in. All right, zoom out. The rim is black, I forgot that. And then that's white, so I'm gonna do like an off gray. And I'll fix that in a minute. And then there's the flats. <laughs> and DDS Popeye. All right, cool. We're, we're making some headway. Okay. Twenty black. Twenty black in there. Zoom in. There it is. Okay. All right. Let's do the skin first. So now with the cartoons, just basically two color flats. Um, uh, this isn't the cartoon, this is my rendition. So I'm gonna add some uh, shadows and stuff. The good thing about having my um, little uh, creative space is my wife is uh, entertaining her girlfriends um, today so I get to hide out <laughs> and stay up here um, keep away from the madness this is madness this is Sparta Oh no, I gotta change my mics. I'm gonna mute my mic because my dog's gonna start barking.
I had to let my dogs out because they were going crazy. Um, because my wife's friends just arrived. So my dogs heard them because they're talking really loud. Uh, the deal was try to have a casual conversation without elevating the vocal cords, but they didn't listen to me. So now the dogs are going crazy and they ran like savages. Um, so let's go to this one. Multiply. So we're going to start with this. Give it some shadow. Here. Belts. Do this right here. And we'll go whites here. Say no. Oops. Not light. Same thing here. Just some little. I could have done it just plain white, but I decided to um, add some uh, flair and pizzazz. So with the black shirt, I'm going to add some um, actually here. Oops, here. sake of it. And then maybe on the rim. Right. Boom. Okay, that's good for there. Go with the pen. So, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking about what I want to do for the background. So, I, I have an idea. So, we'll see in a second. What that's gonna look like. Oh, I didn't do anything on the red, right? My dogs are still barking, bro. They're going crazy. 
Oh, I also didn't do the pipe. Let's get this here. This here. Right there. All right, so this is the basic fundamentals for that, but I want to do something with um, the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm move this into the folder, get that all hidden. I'm going to do a background. I'm going to do uh, for the background uh, the, a ship steering wheel. So in order to do that, I have to hide Popeye for a second. I got to get some circles. And I'm going to use brown for the barn, whatever you call those things. I'm going to do a circle. And the circles, I'm going to do 12. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five circles. Right? So it's like five circles. Are you crazy? Left the circle, right the circle. All right, so there's the circle. Right? So I'm going to. Copy, paste that circle. I'm gonna take that second circle that I just pasted and I'm going to expand it, Control T. And I'm gonna just gonna expand it. Hey, Control Z, no, I wanna Control C, Control B. What the heck, cancel. Control C, Control B, there it is, that's my second one. All right, now, Control Z. And so now I'm gonna expand that for a second, right? I want to get it centered, right? So there's going to be the centerpiece and then the rings on the outside, right? So the centerpiece is going to be a little bigger. Okay, so it's going to be the centerpiece. I'm going to take these two pieces right here and we'll move this up. That's the centerpiece. Then there's going to be three more rings. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Control V. And this time I'm going to make this one smaller, Control T. Fit there. Right? Okay, so that fits right in the center, boom. So now I'm gonna do it again, Control V. Control T, and I'm gonna expand this one because this one's going to be bigger than all of them. A little smaller. There it is. Way fit. All right. So that's that. Now I got to get a centerpiece. So I'm going to Control V, Control T, and shrink this. Point of center, right? Boom. Okay, so that's in the center. Now we need another one. Control C, Control V, Control T. I want you right there. right there all right so now here's what's going to happen i'm going to merge all of these into one single layer oh my wow my dog's there there merge selected layer so now it's all one layer even though that center piece is not even centered so control z This one, it's not centered. Is that centered? That's better. All right, now I'll merge them. You're like, damn, Sam, that's a lot of work. You know what? I'd rather create the circles than try to create a circle with my hand and free, free hand it, because that's no bueno. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop color in here and then a lighter brown on the edges, right? And then gold 
almost like a goldish color because there's some metal in the center right so that's how I'm playing that right now so now what I need to do is more shapes I need to I'm not gonna go crazy crazy but I'm gonna do square circles square and this I can do freehand so I'm gonna do it with this freehand and I'm gonna stick with tens so let's see if I did I just want to place where they're all going to be, so. So if that's going to be dead, then this one's going to be here. All right, and this one's going to be here. And this one's going to be here. And this here. All right, so we're just gonna do that. Doesn't have to be perfect, but um, then I'm gonna do one here, from here to there. Same thing. I mean, what I could have done, I could have just done a straight line, but whatever. Let's go here, 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 here. So now my my little dog is gonna act up. You hear him? Because, of course, everybody has to come upstairs and uh, instead of going straight to the office, um, they're right outside and I'm filming. Do I sound agitated? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> dark, please. Can't you see I'm talking to some friends of mine in the cyberspace in the middle world? All right, so there. And while everything's not completely lined up, um, I'm just going to do this. It's just because when I color it, um, and it's not perfection. Remember, I'm just trying to have fun with this. And for some reason, I wanted this steering wheel in the background. You know, call me uh, crazy. I don't like that. It's too short. All right, let's go up. Now with this, I, all I have to do is just drop some colors in, right? So you don't have to be perfect in everything you do, but you get this, you get the the basic gist. You see the the the, the images. Now I'm going to scale this for a second. Control T because it's all on one layer now. I'm going to put this in the center again. Scale it. Uh, keep scaling it a little more. Hit OK. Put it in the center. Now I just need the handles. And again, um, what I would suggest is just go boom. As long as you follow the dimensions of A, hey, that's not nice. Of uh, try to keep the width the same as square below these are if you're doing a web comic this is the easiest way to um, create the illusion without perfection the tricks of the trade I know dark, I know. They promised that they wouldn't come up in the strike. So see, there it is. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some texture 
uh, and uh, multiply. And um, I'm gonna get the spray paint for this. All right, so we're gonna go up again. Use a smaller brush. Here it goes. All right. Smaller brush, I go to fifty. My dogs are crying. They wanted me to go downstairs uh, because they heard the guests and they were being nosy. And now they're crying because now they want to come back upstairs with that. And now it's too late because I'm not leaving until I'm done drawing. And And then we can also, you know, get some um, of that inside here. So let's say if you're going, I'll do this in the center. Let's get some depth here, All right? All right, and then if I wanted to add some lighting, get some lighter, a little bit of lighting in there, All right? And the reason why I just do these extra little things because it does go on my website, it does go on my portfolio, um, you know, uh, and then I can do like a little lighter here for the edge of this. I'm actually, gonna change that up a little bit. I'll use a thinner brush because that brush is just overlapping too much. So let's go to there you go, 25. Yes. I like that. There you go. Actually, you know what I want to do? Change that again. If this will work for me, I do this. Hmm. Nope, it won't work. All right, let's stick to the line. Let's just stick to the line. Oh, I know what I can do. I was watching yesterday um, Jessica Jones again. I used to watch that on. Uh, I don't like that. No, I'm gonna change this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to do an overlay. 
to get the look that I want. So let's change this up right here. Oh, I forgot this is the center. So let's get that center piece, that yellow, goldish, get my spray cane. All right, get this here. And that in the middle is gonna be hollow. So we're gonna do this. And then we'll do the oops. Let's get that. All right. And then now what I'll do is an overlay. And I'll do like a a hue. And let's go here. That's better. That's what I'm looking for. crazy all right so now let's zoom out let's get Popeye in there where's Popeye boom look at that strong to the finish cuz I eat me spinach oops Control I need to put you guys in a folder yeah. so if I move it it almost it moves in unison all right you move you down there you go so that's it. It's as simple as that. Um, it's a duty as Popeye. Um, I want my dog is acting up again. I think you can hear me. Right? And you can hear my dog barking. Yes, you can. Um, all right. So my wife's taking the dog. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardi. And so. What do you think? If you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, leave a comment below. Help help the algorithms work in my favor. And let's grow this channel together. And thank you for joining me on episode 55. 55 days in a row I've come on here and I've drawn, and I don't know why I zoomed out so far. I've drawn duty for you um, in various different um, scenarios. And uh, I have fun doing it every single time. Thank you, Rodisco, uh, for joining me today. And everybody who's been watching on Facebook and Twitch in silence or on replay, I appreciate your support, every single one of you. Uh, don't forget, um, my landing page comes up soon, as soon as uh, Kickstarter approved it, for issue number three of There's a Nail in My Toilet, I Chihuahua. What does duty and cowboys have to do with anything? You'll find out in this issue. It's hilarious. And remember, it's a double feature campaign because the monster series, Duty's Monsters versus King Cthulhu, is going to be available on the same campaign as a stretch goal add-on. So you can add it on. Uh, it's it's the only stretch goal that, that you have to add on and pay for. Everything else you get free, but this is because it's another book and it has to pay for I have to pay for that book. So uh and it's full color and it's amazing. And if you sign up to the landing page, remember and you DM me, send me an email, you'll get this digital print of Duty's Monsters on Planet Cthulhu. And if you back the campaign as well, you'll also get this in physical backers, you'll get this as a physical print. So it's a seven by ten and a quarter size print. Um, with that said, I appreciate every, everybody. Thank you for joining me today on Drawing Duty. And uh, until next time, uh, I will see you all soon. Peace. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that like button. Share it with a friend. And pick up a copy of Disney Island in My Toilet on DutiesWorld.com. See you next time. Have a great day.